Continuing coverage now on what the city of St. Pete is going to do with Tropicana Field, that site. After years of discussing and pitching ideas, today Mayor Rick Kreisman announced Midtown Development has been selected to redevelop this 86-acre site. The proposal would include 30 blocks of new development that's predominantly housing, 1,000 units would be low and moderate income, green certified units. It would also include a new transit hub, hotel and conference center, even a dog park. The proposal comes with two different scenarios, with a stadium and without a stadium. This is to cover all outcomes in case the Rays relocate when their lease expires in 2027. There remains much work to do, and that means moving forward with the process to redevelop the Tropicana Field site, with or without a baseball stadium. And the Tampa Bay Rays will help solve that outstanding question. Taking a deeper dive, let's take a look back at how we got here. The Rays have been looking for a new stadium since 2008. That prompted the city to commission the Group A baseball community to start looking at a place to build a ballpark. They said somewhere from the Gateway area in Pinellas to downtown Tampa would be best to boost attendance. Fast forward to 2016. St. Pete gave the team permission to explore Tampa sites with a three-year deadline. There was a proposal in 2018 to build an $892 million Ybor City Stadium but no plans on how to pay for it. St. Pete then terminated the team's negotiating window. In early 2019, the Rays start talking with investors about a split season between Tampa Bay and Montreal. While the MLB gave the team permission to explore the idea, Mayor Rick Kreisman said not until the lease is up at Tropicana Field in 2027. Then in July 2020, the city asked for developers to give their plans to redevelop the TROP site with and without a stadium. Mayor Kreisman says redeveloping the stadium will help move the city forward in its effort to create a space for everyone. A recent study on racial disparities in the city found the original TROP development negatively impacted access to affordable housing in the area. That study showed that people want city leaders to rethink how and where they're adding new developments in the future. We're going to break down the concerns, the recommendations, and we'll have that for you coming up at 530.